What's up everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install these pendant lights here right behind me. Um, I actually had one of these fail on me. It was arcing, so it was sparking. So I took it down, uh, which is why I'm replacing them. These were cheapos that I put in uh, about five, six, seven, eight years ago, a little while back. Um, they were cheap and they're due to be changed anyway. I've got these new, uh, these new glass globe pendants. I'm gonna put a pair of them up. Uh, the hard part with these things is getting them at the same height. So first, let's unpack these lights and see what they look like. And don't forget to read the instructions thoroughly. Psych. All right, so these things are fairly straightforward to install. Um, just a matter of hooking up the wires um, and color coding them. This thing gets screwed to the octagon box in the ceiling, which I'll go over. And then these two screws hanging down here go through the two holes in here. And then you put a finishing nut on them essentially. But the hard part, like I was saying, is getting this string to the right length. So you're gonna need measuring tape for this. So we're gonna get both of these pendants to the right length and don't do like I did and smash one of the globes, which sucks, but anyway, the video must go on. So I'm just gonna dry fit this thing on the ceiling and get it to the right height. And the way to do that is this thing has a set screw on the side of the wire here and you're just gonna to wanna to back off the screw so that you can tuck the wire back up inside. And I don't have a very high ceiling here, so I'm gonna assume that this thing is gonna be hung pretty high. Um, the way this glass dome is held in this frame is there's four of these pegs that go in the four corners and the glass, is, uh, the glass dome, uh, or tube I should say, the glass tube has holes in it for the pegs to go in. All right, so there's two domes. This one goes inside this one, but for for the purpose of dry fitting, I'm just going to put the one dome on. So I think that's a good height. I'm about 20, 24 inches off the counter. It's about the same height as this one here. And uh, I just like to have them above eye level when you're sitting. That way you can, uh, you know, the pendant's not in your face. So let's take this one down and then we'll put them both up. So you're going to want to keep the screws that come out from the box. You're going to want to reuse those. All right, so this is what you should be left with once your light fixture is down. You've got your ground wire, you've got your neutral, and you've got your hot wire. So this is pretty typical, but not always 100%. You're gonna have these two screws I was telling you to keep, the ones that fit inside of the octagon box on these little tabs. Um, sometimes you've only got single wires. So if you have a pair of pendants or if you have three of them, you'll likely have two boxes like this and then one box which will only have a single set of wires and not two of each like this one. So anyway, for mine I've got two. So let's go ahead and uh, put this new one up. You essentially want this thing to fit right here. So we're gonna pop these screws off. This one's on a little tighter. And you're gonna put it right back up in that, uh, put the screw right back in its place. So what would make life a lot easier is if you took this plate and you screwed it tight to the electrical box. But what happens is these screws become too short to grab um, through this portion of the light fixture. So what I do is I just leave it loose a little bit and once you get the screws in, it'll tighten it all together. But you're gonna to wanna to take this copper wire 
and run it to the ground here. All right, that guy's in. And you're gonna to wanna to take the ends of your wires and just give them a spin clockwise. If you go counterclockwise, they'll kind of come apart when you go to twist them together. Twist them nice and tight. And the order I like to hook these up in is first the ground. And I, I typically leave the threaded wire, just or the, this is a braided wire, and this is just a solid piece of copper. I like to leave the braided wire a little bit longer and I just poke it beyond just to ensure that I've got it threaded nice and tight on that copper wire. And you can test that by giving it a tug and that's, that's nice and snug. So we'll tuck that in there, out of the way. Next one is the white. We'll just bend our wires where we need them. And I do the same thing, just a hair beyond and uh, nice and snug. And I always wanna check to see you've got good contact and I can't pull that wire out, so that's perfect. I'll put him back up there. And last but not least, our black. And we'll do the same thing. Again, nice and tight. Give it a little tug and we're all set. All right, so I've got my length set here and I don't have a knot on it yet. There's a knot up here. I should have untied him first, but let's, let's do this the hard way. There we go. And the knot's just there as a backup. Um, so once this set screw is nice and snug, you can, you can see him on the side. He's, well, it's clear plastic, but there's a little screw in there. Maybe you can see it from the side. Anyway, it just keeps the wire nice and snug. So we're gonna go ahead and coil this wire back up in the box here. There's, there's enough of it, so let's try to get rid of as much of the length as possible. We'll try to put it on top. On top of the plate here. And there we go. That one's in. So I've got myself a ruler, measuring tape would be good. Um, and uh, we'll use the metric system because we're in Canada. But uh, so I've got this thing hung straight and I've got 52 millimeters or for the Americans, I've got two inches. Wow, that worked out really well. So let's go with two inches. It's a little easier to remember. So. I've got my other pendant here, and I'm just gonna make it the same length. A little longer than what it is. And two inches, bang on. We'll tighten our set screw up. If I can move my thumb. And let's do it again, just in fast forward. I should mention a couple things I didn't mention on this one. And one, one thing is that this plate should be flush with the drywall. That's where it really wants to be. Um, so this plate should be flush with this surface. Another thing too, when you're wiring it, some of these light fixtures don't necessarily have a black and a white and a green. Um, sometimes they'll have the neutral, which is usually clear, the green. Uh, but the black and the white, sometimes if they're both black, both white, and it doesn't really matter. So you just hook them up to either the black or the white. All right, so I got both of my pendants hung. Now I'm gonna hang the glass. Way easier when you break one of the lenses. That one went up way quicker. So I think next time I would almost put these together on the countertop before I hang them or get a second person uh, to help me would have been nice too, but they look pretty cool. Obviously that one doesn't look as cool as that one because um, I'm a knucklehead, but let's turn them on and see what they look like. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Smash that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.